I'm hoping to make a, a simple demonstration here to show that the crank is not cracked. This is the crank from the engine with the dirty great big hole in it. And um, what I'm going to do, just this is just a simple test really. Notice how um, both webs play a very similar note to one another and they're both quite a sort of sharp note. I wouldn't quite call it a ring but it's not a dull note. So that's the crank that came out the uh, blown up engine. So next I'm going to put the crank in from the donor engine that I've stripped um, which would need a regrind at least on one journal if not both. Bear in mind that the big ends on this seem to have survived fine and they were attended to not very long ago in terms of mileage so um, I'm hoping that I might be able to use this crank but um, the next crank is out the donor engine which was the first one that I took apart so bear with me get this one out of there right now then here we have the crank out of the donor engine which would need a regrind at least on one journal were we to use it. In fact, let me just get uh, lifted up there a bit and try that again. We've also got to take into account that the other one has still got its conrod, well, one conrod and a half of a conrod still fitted. So that's the crank out the donor engine. And uh, we've got one more. This one. This crank is cracked across the uh, time inside big end journal and this ironically is the crank that I removed from this blown up engine when I worked on it about four years ago. Note how dull, let's get the, uh, let's be fair, let's put the big end journals down the bottom. Notice how dull that is because there's a crack running through the big end on that side. That's what a cracked crankshaft sounds like. So I think both the other two are okay. It may well be possible to get it crack tested in any case, but I think it's probably survived the blow up that crank and uh, probably good to go.